Yo yeah, guys, I'm gonna be filming my life at night. Uh, I was doing a... Um, no, you can kind of just chill on that. That works for me. I just found the investigators, which I have no idea what the investigators is. And I literally just what got in. Well, everyone's watching, yeah. And guess what? This is what I found the investigators. Like, ooh, this is good. This might be good. Oh. I'm just watching it on my own. In the last episode. Coronavirus. Kyle has terrible ball skills around here. Except this time it wasn't 
Ohio. That was a maze. That was Billy. Kyle had been doing soccer practice with boys from our class. And also Billy from the other grade five. Oops, sorry, I dropped. I slipped over. It's really money on the grass. That's why we wear soccer boots. My mum won't buy me boots until I get good at soccer. But I can't get good at soccer until she buys me boots. Well, you need to get them soon because they're picking new competition team next week. Billy looked sad, so I told him I've never been picked for a sport team. I didn't tell him I've never tried out for a sport team. Don't worry, Billy. There's always next year. I'll buy you a cupcake to cheer you up. Can I have two cupcakes, please, Ava? Do you have any money? No, Ava. I'm trying to buy two cupcakes without money. You don't have any, do you, Billy? No, I don't. Can I pay you back? That's what you get at my soccer sizzle, my donut drive, my biscuit bag, my... Yeah, and did I pay you back? No! Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be asking for two or three cupcakes. Just make it one. Sorry, Billy. No, Kyle! No cupcakes until you pay me back. Kyle really wanted a cupcake. He kept arguing with Ava, and I went to go look for the new girl in our classroom. Except, the classroom was empty. <coughs> So I went to our book corner and grabbed my favourite book, the one with the mystery riddles, and sat down. The police got a call that a robber there after is inside a house at 33 Buxton Drive. They don't know what he looks like, but they know his name is Craig. The police burst in to find a truck driver, a carpenter, a mechanic and a fireman sitting around the table playing cards. They immediately arrest the fireman. Why? Who's the only man? The carpenter, the truck driver, and the mechanic can all be women, but the fireman has to be a man, so he's the one called Craig. <laughs> the fireman was the only man. I think I just met my special project. Morty? Yep. Hi, Ezra. How do you know my name? It's on your bag, Ezra Banks. This is a nice classroom. Have you read this book? No. Then how do you know the answer and why did you come in the classroom window? I wanted to have a look around. I mean, why did you come in the window and not the door? Are you not allowed to do that? Um, I've never seen anyone do it. I'll use the door next time. Okay, well, um, Henry says, I mean, Mr. McGillick said I could show you around in here. So, do you what? What just? Happened. I'm so excited to finally meet you. Oh, is it Moy here? No, she went out the window. Why? I don't know. She came in the window, she went out the window. If I was going to get to know my special project, I needed to find a room without windows. I'm going to look outside and wait. Look after myself. Ow! Ava's outing landed on my foot. And I thought she must have sold about a million cupcakes because it was so heavy. I couldn't stop thinking about Morty. How'd she get that riddle about the fireman so fast? I got the book back off the shelf and was rereading the riddle when I must have a ball magnet in me. Kyle! Sorry, Ezra. Ava said you met the new girl. What's her best sport? Because when I meet someone new, that's my burning question. Ava couldn't find Morty outside, but she did find Mr. McGillick and they both came into the classroom. No, Ava, I am not filing a missing persons report. But Mr. McGillick, Morty is missing. Perhaps if we dial down the drama. But Morty is lost! No one has seen her since she went out the window! Why did she go out the window? Because I thought I should come around to use the door. Morty! licks you on the face, which feels half sweet, half disgusting. I'm Ava, that's Kyle, and I sent you a cupcake for free. And so with my outing. What? My outing with my cupcake money in it. I don't know. It was right there on the shelf. Ava's outing was gone. What does it look like? It's got an adorable little owl right in the back of the And it has a lot of money in it. My foot has the bruise to prove it. What are you talking about? You threw the tin on my shoe and it felt like it was full of 
rock. The car is going to $80 in it. I see. Almost. I have three cupcakes that I sold for $2. Except one I kept for me and one I kept for me. Who would take your $42? Well, let's just say Max isn't Carl's strong point. 40 times 2 minus 4. Ezra, this is no time for a quiz. Ava's outing has been stolen. And you took it. You needed to pay me all the money you owed me, so you came in here and took my tin. Ava, he's been standing with me the whole time. Kyle didn't take it. Oh, in that case, I'm so sorry, Kyle. That was very unfair. Then who took your $76? 76. 76. No one took it. I've been the only person here. Suddenly, everyone was looking at me. And the person looking at me the most was Mr. McGillick. Tell me, this has nothing to do with the website software you wanted to buy for $75? I know it looked bad, but if you're innocent, there's no need to panic. I swear on my life, I didn't take the money! I believe that's your Mr. McGillick. It just looks extremely suspicious. Because he was alone with the tin, and nobody else had been in here, and he needed a lot of money. Yes. Can I see your bag, please? I know Miss Miguel thinks I'm a bit annoying, because I have a very busy mind. But now, he thought something terrible about me. He thought I was a thief. I can't believe you could think that Edward would steal something. He's the most honest guy I know. He never lets me properly in class or cheat on the test, and he would never take something that wasn't his. And this is his own outing, full of money that he brought the money. Right, Ezra? Mm -hmm. I felt sick in the stomach. Nobody said anything. <laughs> except for me. Why would I do anything bad? I think he wanted to steal Ava's money. Two minutes. Bye, guys.